Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmina and as you have seen from the title, today we are going to dip our toes into 1940s makeup. I try to do some sort of hairdo similar to the ones that they have. I'm gonna put a picture up here. I know it's not the same, but you know what? I tried. <laughs> so here we go. We have our victory rolls shit on top, and now we can move on. So first things first, I am gonna go with a cream primer because that's what they used to do in 1940s. It is interesting because 1940s, I have to say, it was one of the ugliest era in the entire humankind <laughs> uh, history. Um, I cannot talk about 1940s without bringing up World War II, which was absolutely horrific. Um, and if you ask me, there's a, I would not have that big of a celebration knowing how many uh, people have died and uh, how many people have been affected by this. So my opinion, it wasn't a great time to live in 1940s, um, but the makeup, we're going to talk about the makeup from this period not a lot of innovation in uh, the makeup industry and mostly because i would say the war was going on and there were so um, much there was a lot of need for metal and things like that and everybody was trying to get to the cardboard and there were a lot of makeup was now introducing the cardboard which is kind of funny because it's like that was the time when uh, people were actually doing something good for the environment but they were not quite aware of um next thing in here i really want to try this foundation that is from catrice cosmetic the hd liquid coverage foundation i had this for quite a while i think i had it for like four months four or five months and i haven't tried it yet so i definitely want to try it today and see how this is gonna look on my face on that era now we have some liquids uh but also we have the pancake foundation which like i said before it's kind of like a cream to powder foundation um and it just like you have to in you have to put some water in it and mix it and then put it on the face and then it dries on the face and then you have to scrape the rest things like that um but now we have some liquids that were being offered for the market and people will be able to buy them with the pancake foundation um and i really really am excited to be able to wear a liquid foundation in this videos because as you know i had a really hard time wearing just uh, the powder foundations for um the eras for the videos for the what is it through the through the decade videos and um yeah i am a, a little bit too light but that's not a problem that was the that was the era you know they were still having problems with the color not as much there's a lot to talk about 1940s and I have to say there's like there's just too much going on uh, as rules wise you know there's a lot of rules introduced this is if you want to say 1940s was the time when perfection was a standard when um, you were supposed to act in a certain way you're supposed to dress in a certain way you're supposed to wear makeup in a certain way you're supposed to talk in a certain way there's just like so many rules and regulations introduced in 1940s that is a lot to wrap your brain around it um but a lot of people were happy to do that apparently uh these people in 1940s had a really big thing with perfections i mean you know they they were even trying to find the perfect race and uh we know how that went down uh so 
here is how this foundation looks really nice i do like it it's very lightweight i it covers a little bit but i still can see some of my imperfection which is not a problem because we're not trying to look perfect although the <laughs> although the era was all about perfections i am not so i am just gonna leave it the way it is i really do enjoy how this looks like it's a little bit too light for my complexion but that's not a problem we will leave it the way it is because that was the era's time and it was okay to look a little bit lighter um i am gonna go with the magic powder charlotte tilbury the charlotte tilbury genius magic powder under eye and face and i'm gonna go for under eye i'm gonna apply a little bit more no i don't have anything under there to bake but i just want to make sure that it looks a little bit more brightening than what it is right now there you go this is a really good powder i really love this powder for the under eye area and with a brush i'm gonna apply some on my face not too much just a bit so in 1940s a lot of the women were taking the jobs for that the men we used to do because you know the men were in war they were they were gone <laughs> uh, so they had to start working and doing a bunch of things so in the same time you're supposed to look absolutely exceptional <laughs> and uh, take care of your children and be able to work and look really marvelous in the same time which is so strange so there you go so you would have to find some sort of makeup back in that era that you have to do like really quick but also look good so they were doing a lot of powder um but not a lot on the eyes not a lot of uh, blush well there the blush it is a little bit important for the era because uh you were supposed to have this oval face that was the the shape face for this era was the oval face was supposed to be the most beautiful shape in the world. Um, but also it was it was looked down upon if you had too much uh, eye makeup going on during the day. That was not something that was um, that was appreciated. I would say you know what I mean. So this is how everything looks right now. I am going to do some blush um of course we're going for the same uh, blush we're going with like a pink reddish tone to it so now they would have rouge which was what is today the blush uh in three different forms they would have cream they would have liquids and then we'll have powder as well so i am gonna go with powder and they were used to highlight the cheeks i'm gonna introduce a picture right here because it was you're supposed to use it in a certain way depends of how your face uh, shape was to be able to achieve that elongated oval face and just kind of make sure that you structure your face in such a way that it's gonna give you that face shape <clears throat> So because I have some sort of like a round shape, I gonna have to go all the way from here all the way down here. So this is how much blush I have to apply for my face shape. So I'm gonna go with milk and this is in work and I'm gonna try to do that and just make sure I contour my face the way they want it. This is pretty this is a lot <laughs> look at this this is crazy a lot uh so i'm just gonna add the seal on this side not a big fan of the era it's not only just the world war ii but also it's just like all the rules of how you're supposed to wear this and how you're supposed to wear that and how this uh, desire shape is the best one and how you're supposed to eat and how you're supposed to act and there's just too much for me there's just too many rules i don't feel like life is all about being in this box i hate put it being put in a box or i hate having all these rules that just kind of makes you 
not be able to enjoy or not be able to be creative with your makeup look you're just gonna have to follow these rules and because that's the best way because somebody said so you know um but we're gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna try to work it out you know all right so this is how it looks right now it is kind of insane <laughs> look at that it is insane but it is the era so we're gonna go with it also now for brows this is if there's something that i like about this era is the brows <laughs> finally we can have brows so now brows after 1930s were really really thin and draw out and stuff like that and plucked out now we're supposed to have really natural and well manicured uh, brows so I am just gonna fill them in a little bit not too much and I'm gonna go in with a new another new product this is from NYX professional makeup is a lift and snatch brow tint pen and I have mine in black and this one you're supposed to be able to draw uh, hair like you know something like that so I'm just gonna try to do some so you're supposed to have the front a little bit more uh, larger and thinner on the end so I'm just gonna all right I think that's good yeah I like how that looks pretty natural nothing uh too crazy i'm gonna draw i'm just gonna go around them just a little bit like that so the eyelids they said are being kept light and it says merely shadow are applied to the outer top lid at the shadow delineate the crease as the shadow delineate the crease what that means i don't know so it says during the day the eyelids are left bare, curled lashes are dark gun with mascara applied to the outer corner of the lashes. So we're just gonna do something simple with like light in the front and dark a little bit like in the crease area. And because we are trying new stuff, why not try a little bit of this nudie patootie from Laura Lee Los Angeles? I'm gonna go with something from here. I have not tried this one yet so far, so uh, this is gonna be a good time to try it. So we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with bear and naked naked. So I'm gonna do bear all over the lid because they said they want to go with something light. And then the bear or the naked naked one, we're just gonna go and just kind of add it a little bit on the outer corner. And then a little bit in the crease. I think that's good enough. And then we're going to go with a brown eyeliner as well. I know this is not necessarily something that they would wear that much during the day. But they would wear it during the night. So I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny bit around the lash line. And a little bit in my waterline too. All right, so this is how it looks like. I feel like it looks a little bit better when I apply just a little bit of brown liner in there. And we're gonna curl the lashes. Hopefully I don't cut myself while trying to do so. And they also do the bottom. I think that looks good. Uh, 
Let's go with a mascara. I'm gonna do Makeup Geek. And they say apply more to the outer corners. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna start from the front. And then I'm just gonna concentrate on the outer corner. The baby showers are introduced now. The bridal shower is introduced now as well. So all of these crazy stuff are coming out now. And it's kind of interesting because I know uh, the economy wasn't the greatest in that time because all the money were going towards the war. And after the war was done, um, there was not a lot of money left. Uh, so the economy was struggling, but um, now we're being introduced of how to take care of ourselves and hygiene and workout routine and how to eat as well and what to eat. It is, uh, it is interesting. It's an interesting era for those reasons. I'm gonna add just a little bit more powder on top of this and just kind of make it blend in because I feel so weird when having all this in, on my face like that. That is pretty insane. But I don't know, do I look like my face is a little bit more oval? Also, they recommend to have your hair more up here. I'm not sure if my hair is necessarily the best for the era, but you know what? I tried <laughs> now for lips of course this is the era where you're supposed to wear those really bold red lipstick on your lips and just make your make sure your lips are just perfect when you apply it because you're supposed to also look sexy in the same time of working take care of kids doing everything else you know so let me add a really really red lipstick on my lips all right so i went in with this very beautiful red lipstick from sugar cosmetics in cherry because i feel like that just gives you that beautiful look you know for this era so here's the eye look, here's the makeup for this era. Let me know down below if you like it. Let me know down below how you feel about it. Do I like it? Not that much. I'm not a big fan of it, um, but it feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit more modern. I'm not a fan of the era per se because it's just an ugly era and there's just so many regulations and so many rules being pushed on your throat which i'm not i'm not for you know but i have to say this makeup is not the worst it's it's not the worst you know it, it still looks pretty pretty nice um now let me talk about the giveaway that is going to start today and it's going to go all the way until may 15 so you have about three weeks to enter this giveaway um the way you enter this giveaway you have to comment you have to like and also you have to be subscribed on this channel you have to comment as many times as you can on this video and other videos because that's gonna count as extra entries so good luck and it was going to be an international giveaway this is going to be on Beautylish website which is exciting because I did went on their website to just check and make sure it's going to be international and it is international but also it's going to be another $50 on uh, Beautylish as well as it used to be on Sephora's last month um, oh yeah congratulations Priscilla let us know whatever you purchase in the description I mean in the comment section but yeah if you need to have more uh, more uh, information about this rules <laughs> you're gonna find it in the description bar what I want to know the question that I want to know is what makeup products you feel like you cannot live without if you would have to choose just one which one would you say you can't live with this 
type of makeup products. For me, I would have to say is either would be the mascara or the foundation. That is one of the things that those are the two makeup products that I don't think I can live without. Um, I would say if I really, really have to choose, I would say maybe mascara, but I like both of them as much. Um, let me know down below which is your answer for this question. And also let me know down below if you like this makeup uh, look and what you think about 1940s era. I'm excited to try 1950s next month and I'm really excited because it's finally going to have more things to add to the face. It's going to be a little bit more prettier in my opinion and I'm excited for 1950s. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment on this um, video, but also on the next videos because any, every comment is going to give you an extra entry. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.